All right, let's talk dose water. Let's talk that magic amount of water that that drain field needs to eat every time. And this is going to be pretty easy. We're going to go through this. It's got a little cumbersome step to it. We'll explain why it is. Here we go. All right, so we need to calculate our dose volume anytime we do a system because this is going to control how we set our floats and how big the slug of water we're sending up there each time. We'll go through a little example real quick. We got three bedroom uh, home, uh, 360 gallons a day, maximum uh, usage. Okay. This is a Piedmont system. Give me guys, raise their hand. Uh, you live in the Piedmont of North Carolina. Uh, Piedmont or Western Piedmont. A typical. <coughs> so Alabama's carrying up 400 feet of gravel is kind of normal for you guys. Is that a little sweet for you? Guys? That's a little too good for you guys, even, right? So Wake County see maybe this number. Chatham parts of it might see this. So 400 feet of gravel is what a three bedroom home would take based on how good or bad the soil is. Coastal guys are gonna see something smaller than this. Western guys may even see something smaller than this. Alamance County's gonna see something even bigger than this, right? Because they got not great dirt, do you? They got a challenge. So, but that's typical. So we will see about, let's say on our system here, it's 175 feet from the pump tank <coughs> to the drain field of two inch gauge of 40 line. All right, let's get that dose volume. There's two steps to this process. I've got to figure out how much water the corrugated pipe in that drain field will hold. This is how our rules are set up. How much water will a four inch corrugated pipe in the drain field hold? It's a rock system. So in 400 feet of rock, how many feet of corrugated pipe are there? Is it? I have to see Should be 400, right? No trick. So there's a, in every foot of the trench, there's corrugated pipe, right? So there's 400 feet of corrugated pipe. And then the rules say, once you figure out how much water it'll hold, then you take two thirds or three fourths of that, and that's how much we give. So four inch corrugated pipe. Next slide. Holds, so back one, holds 0.65 gallons in every foot. So a little over <coughs> half a gallon of water is theoretically held in a corrugated pipe in every foot of corrugated pipe. Does that make sense? About a, a little over half a gallon, 0.65 gallons is in every little foot of four inch pipe. So if we've got 400 feet, and there's 0.65 gallons in every foot, we have 260 total gallons can be held in the corrugated pipe. And that will fill all the corrugated pipe up in our system. But that's not the whole thing, because our rules say don't just find that number. We actually do two thirds or three fourths of that number. So I like today for us all to be on the same page, we're going to do 70%, right in the middle. Not 65 or 66%, not 75, but we're gonna do 70% of this number right here on our map. And I think I actually don't even do these. All right, so we do 75% here. So we do 260, which is what our corrugated pipe will hold, times 0.75 will be 195 gallons. That's the maximum your dose volume can be for that system. What's the minimum your dose volume can be for that system? 66%, so 260 times 0.66, and that would be? Give me a number. Come on with the calculator. One, 172 gallons, 172 gallons. So I have a range in dose volumes. I can hit that system anywhere between 172 and 195. No more, no less. That's where the state says the sweet spot of that system is we're going to work in the middle with 70%. And what would 70% of 260 be? Somewhere around 180? 182. 182. That, so that's where we're going to work today, 70%. All right. So we're going to use our floats based on how many gallons per inch are in the tank and the tether link, distance between possibly, to set the appropriate dose volume for these systems. Right, what you guys think? Whether it's two flow or single flow, we'll see how to do that.
together. You want to? Is there anything else going on there? All right. Let's do one together. You guys are enthusiastic. We're ready to go, right? Yeah. <laughs> Rob, I want a five-bedroom home on rough dirt in Alamance County. What's that going to do to me with gravel? What's you going to give me for a loading load? How many feet of line? So this is going to be an Alamance. This is why I don't go to Alamance, okay? So, right? What's it going to be? Gravel. Gravel. Give me with a big number. Six, seven. Six seven. So we're gonna keep everything simple. We'll get into any details. Six hundred and seventy feet of gravel. I need to know how big the dose volume is supposed to be to hit six hundred seventy feet with the appropriate slug of water. I need to know. It. So how do I go about making this math work? How do I do this? Because there's a right amount. And a wrong amount. So 670 feet. How do I think that? What's the first step in this process? Multiply by 0.66. I need to know how many feet of corrugated pipe are in that system, right? Uh -huh. How many feet of corrugated pipe are there? 670. <coughs> Every single foot holds how many? Gallons of water. 670 feet times 0.65 gallons per foot. My feet cancel, and I'm in. How many gallons am I hitting this thing with? 435. 435 gallons of water, and that's my dose volume, right? No. no. What am I missing? The rules say two thirds or three fourths, so I'm going to do 70 percent, right? So 435 gallons times 0.7. 304 and a half. Give me a number. 304. 304.9.5. And so this is why if you pick a number in the middle like that, it gives me some fudge factor. When I say, I hear you say 304.9721617.15, I say it sounds a whole lot like a sewage 300 to me, right? I have, I can, I can go lower or whatever kind of works. I like even numbers to work with. So, but we're 305 gallons, 304 you said? Yeah. 304. <coughs> 304 gallons of water. That doggone drain field needs a big slug of water, doesn't it? That's a big boy, all right? Could you guys imagine that some of the offensive linemen for NC State's football team need slightly more to eat than I do to satisfy them? Is that, is that accurate right here? So, and so, it, so it's size dependent. That is the right amount of water, but that is a big slug of water, right? So we'll think about that. Now, let's go back. And let me go on a road trip to Onslow County. How about a five bedroom home in some good Onslow County soil? <laughs> What's good in Onslow? What kind of loading rate am I going to get? If you're in a good mood, things are working great this week. 0. 0.8. 0. 0.8. Woo! Nice. So 0. 0.8 on that is going to give me, on a five bedroom home, 600 gallons a day, is going to give me how many feet of drain line in Onslow County? Same house. Same house in Onslow on better dirt is going to give me how many feet? And this is the county figures this up. We don't have to deal with that, right? Uh, 250. 250 on gravel system, right? 200. The same house only has to have 250 feet of gravel in Onslow County. If it's good dirt, all right? 250. So I know this. We already did the math. A five-bedroom house needs 304 gallons per dose. Is that right? No. You just got the there. Why would it be the same as the last example we just did? So the field's smaller. The smaller fellow we're feeding, right? So let's feed the small fellow. What does this small guy need? How do I figure it out? First step. How many feet of corrugated pipe? 250 feet times... 0.65 gallons per foot, and that's going to give me 162.5. And then, is that it? 270%, 160. 
2.5 gallons times 70% or 0.7, and that is going to equal 113.75 gallons. That is the magical amount that that little fellow right there needs to eat with every single meal. You give it 304 gallons, what's it going to do? You're going to get to see most of it on the ground. But what if, what if we took this little dose at 113 and we went to Alamance County and we fed Rob system that was 670 feet of gravel with just 100 gallons at a time and we spit at it really nicely. Would there be a problem with that? Well, so what's happening here is when we do that dose, here's theoretically what we imagine that we are rushing water out there and we're giving it so much water, it forces it to spread out and use more of that field. To maximize the use of the drain field, we give it enough water to spread that flow out. If every 20 minutes we hit it with five gallons of water, five gallons, five gallons, five gallons, we are gonna put a lot of water on those first few feet and that mechanism that spreads it out is gonna be a little bit encumbered and not work quite as efficient. So, we call this flood dosing. This is how North Carolina's conventional dose structures work. You will give the right amount to spread the water out. But the 